Hi guys, I'm with a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about steel reinforcement, types of steel reinforcement, advantages and also disadvantages of steel reinforcement. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications. Let's start our video. So what is steel reinforcement? Steel reinforcement are steel bars that are provided in combination with the plain cement concrete to make it reinforced concrete. Okay. So hence these structures form steel reinforced cement concrete structures that is RCC. So steel reinforcement is commonly called as rebus. And what is the need for steel reinforcement? Plain cement concrete is weak in tension and strong in compression. So tensile property for concrete structures is obtained by incorporating steel reinforcement. The steel reinforcement is strong in both tension and also compression. The tensile property provided by the steel reinforcement will prevent and minimize concrete cracks under tensile loads. So this is the use of steel reinforcement. Also there is a question like why only steel is used as a reinforcement because the coefficient of thermal expansion of steel reinforcement and concrete are similar in that they undergo similar expansion during temperature changes so this property will ensure that the concrete is subjected to minimum stress during temperature variations that's why we use mostly steel as reinforcement for cement okay and next types of steel reinforcement in this we have hot rolled deformed steel bars so what are hot rolled deformed steel bars so these are most commonly used steel reinforcement for rcc structures as the name says the hot rolling of the reinforced is undergoing leaving certain deformations on its surface in the form of ribs you can see there is a small ribs on the reinforcement in the first picture so this says these ribs helps to form a bond with the concrete the typical yield strength of hot rolled deformed bars is 60000 psi okay next we'll discuss about cold worked steel bars so a cold worked reinforcement bar is obtained by letting the hot rolled steel bars to undergo cold working so in the cold working process the bars will undergo twisting and drawing. The process is performed at room temperature, so the cold worked steel bars do not undergo a plastic yield, thus have less ductility when compared with the hot rolled bars. And next we'll discuss mild steel plane bars. So the mild steel plane reinforcement bars do not have ribs. So you can see in the next picture, so here you don't have ribs on their surface. They have a plain surface. These bars are used for small projects where the major concern is the economy. So these are cheaply available. So the tensile yield strength of these bars has a value of 40,000 PSI. Okay, next we'll discuss pre-stressed steel bars. The pre-stressing steel reinforcement is used in the form of strands or tendons. Multiple strands are employed in concrete in order to perform the pre-stressing action. The strands are made of multiple wires, either two or three white strands. The wires used here are cold formed and have a high tensile strength ranging from 2,50,000 to 2,70,000 PSI. This high strength helps to effectively pre-stress the concrete. So this is the use of pre-stressing steel bars. So these are types of steel reinforcement used in mostly construction works and next we'll discuss what are the advantages of steel reinforcement so there are unique advantages of steel reinforcement in the concrete structures they are compatibility with the concrete and also bend properties of steel reinforcement and recycling property of the steel reinforcement and also this steel reinforcement is easily available in the market Next, disadvantages of steel reinforcement. There are few disadvantages like reactive nature of steel reinforcement. Like uh, in concrete structures where the cover is small and subjected to external moisture conditions, the reinforcement will undergo 
reaction and starts to corrode so these can lessen the strength of the concrete and finally to failure so this is a small uh, disadvantages and next expensive so the cost of steel reinforcement is high this will increase the cost of the construction and also the steel will melt at high temperature at higher temperature the steel reinforcement may melt this is the reason why the steel reinforcement are tied up and not welded so these are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, steel reinforcement and also types of uh, steel reinforcement what we discussed i think you have got some good information in this video if you like our video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos thank you for watching see you in the next video